Well, here I am. I start my journey at the Hook of Holland. The ferry's just arrived. It's now 5, 5 p.m. And as you can see, the ferry's behind me. I've got my bike. So my plan is to head down to Rotterdam and then start heading towards Belgium. Bring it on. Well, it's now the end of day one, and it's not too bad. I think the time around half past eight, but annoyingly, I've managed to do about 40 miles, and I haven't really got that far, to be honest. So I think quite a lot of it was just going, going in random directions, and then having to go back on myself. Really nice though, they got their own um, cycle paths, so, you know, completely away from the cars and whatnot, but the only problem is the directions aren't as good. So, you know, they'll tell you to go one way and then a while later, they should sort of stop telling you or they say it's the other way. But anyway, yeah, so now camping up for tonight and I've found this little space in this woods, as you can see. Got the footpath just there, quite popular with other cyclists. But then, yeah, got my little tent all set up, it's gonna, gonna cook and then go to sleep for a big ride tomorrow. Well it wasn't too bad a sleep where I chose, it was quite, it was quite cool during the night, quite cold and yeah when the sun the sun came up because I was in all the woods, didn't really get any of the sunlight, so but I managed to leave about half eight I set off and it's not been too bad, just managed to eventually find my way uh, over these couple of bridges down south and I'm now in this place called Breeder. It's about, I've traveled about 26 miles down south from, from where I camped last night, don't know where I camped but I managed to find here so in the plan now it's just to keep heading south until I hit Belgium and then keep going from there. Well, it's now the end of my second day, and I did. I think I did quite well today. I managed to uh, get quite a bit into Belgium, which is good. It's about 85 miles in the end, but it's quite funny because compared to my original route, I should be on about 90 miles altogether. And the fact I did 40 yesterday and 85 today, and I should only be on 90. Uh, you know, hey ho. Um, Bienna is good riding today. All the roads have the cycle paths next to them, so you're not even on the road with the cars. You're just following your own cycle path, which is really good. And yeah, hasn't been too bad at all. Very hot and very sunny. So the amount I was drinking, it was you know, I just kept drinking the whole time, trying to keep hydrated. But yeah, as I say, you can see where I am now on the map. But yeah, I, I think it was a good day. So just cooking and getting ready for tomorrow. Well, as you can see, it's once again a very, very hot day. It's now 
coming up to two o'clock and all the signs are saying it's about coming up to 30 degrees so it's quite a hot day so once again lots and lots of drinking but yeah I'm not doing too bad today already done about 30 miles say in this heat but my plan is to get try and get close to Luxembourg but it's not going too badly the roads have changed now there's less and less cycle paths in between the villages it's not too bad though because they're not that busy but as you can see around me just lots of fields Oh, well, I've now come to the end of the day. It's, I thought it started off a decent day, but towards the end it was just it was getting really difficult. Mainly because I've entered, I'm coming up to Luxembourg now, and so it's beginning to get really hilly, quite mountainous. So it's a lot of climbing now, and then straight away descent just for another big climb. So I managed about 70 miles today, so I'm quite happy with that. But say so the amount of effort, it's and also the, in the heat. No, I think, oh god, I've just been drinking the whole time, non-stop, just keep drinking to try and keep hydrated, and it's just, I say, I say the big one is the heat, just constant heat, but I say not too bad today, and you can't go to Luxembourg, so you should arrive there tomorrow, and yeah, but in the mountains now, but yeah, it's not going too badly, Well, it's about mid-afternoon now, and very, very hard work again, once again, the heat. The morning was okay, managed to do that quite fine. Got down, had some lunch somewhere, but then started off again about two in the afternoon, and Jesus, the heat, as I say, is unbearable. But it's not going too well. I'm trying to get into Luxembourg, but the problem is there's one main road, and sort of... I don't know if it's dual carriageway the whole time, but it's quite a big road and I kept trying to I'm trying to avoid it, so I left it and taken all these back roads into all these massive hills and stuff and they they just keep on ending up back at this main road, so I think I have to take it. It shouldn't be too bad though because it's quite straightforward and direct, no main hills, as opposed to all this stuff which is just massive hills, but it's not going too badly, so very hot, very hot. Well, here I am. That's another day gone. Tricky day today. Very tricky. And I definitely think, as I was before, it's the heat. But after I, after I spoke to you, I attempted to do that pass, and it was just too busy. <laughs> it's quite bad actually, because I found myself halfway up this hill, and there's just lorries everywhere, cars everywhere, and it was just like semi motorway but not motorway so in the end I thought well I'm not gonna I'm not gonna risk it but then that was the only road I could take so I thought okay what shall I do and then sort of bus stop so I waited there for about two hours in the end I waited at this bus stop and then I thought 
I'll just wait for the traffic to calm down a bit. And then at about half six, I eventually went for it. And annoyingly, as soon as I got up to the top of this little hill, there was this turn off straight away. So I managed to get off there. I'm now into Luxembourg and found a campsite which meant I could shower. So yeah, that's good. So we're gonna start cooking and then go wash some clothes. And yeah, not bad. Oh, with the bike though, don't know why, but I think it was about on the rear tar, rear wheel, about six spokes were loose. I on I don't know how or why that happened, but I was just coming down into here and thought that's a lot of rubbing. And then check them, yeah, as I say about six of them were loose, so I've tightened it, tightened them up. So it's, it's not the wheel's not true, but it's better than it was. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm thinking easy day tomorrow, so so Luxembourg can't be too far away, so I was thinking go in there and then have a good explore and then head out the other side in the afternoon sometime. I've made it through to Luxembourg in the end. It was, I was further away than I thought I was going to be. It was about 30, 30 miles in the end to get here. And once again, it was that main road again. I kept trying to avoid it, but then I say all these taking all these big hilly back roads to these little villages, and in the end they all just kept taking me back to this big road. So. But luckily it didn't last for too long and then it just went on to a, to a normal road where with a bus lane and cycle lane, so that was okay. And that was about 20 kilometers in to the city. So yeah, I'm now in the city, it's not bad. Well that's it, come to the end of another day, and another, another very hot, hot day, but yeah I went, got to Luxembourg and then went around there for a bit, it was nice, a nice place. Now what I've started to do is head back to Calais in France, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to travel up the Belgium and French border and just work my way back along there. Well, I'm now here at a place called Bouillon, 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 where I've just had lunch. And yeah, it's a really nice place, a nice castle. And then uh, the water running through the middle, they've got lots of ped loads and stuff on it. But it's definitely getting hilly again in the mountains, as you can see. So my plan now is to head to this place called Sug Sugney, but yeah, no, I think it's going to be quite a lot of mountain work from now because I'm uh, working along the, the French and Belgian border. So, yeah, it's not going too badly though. Yeah, I tried to beat the heat this morning, so I got up quite early. Well, I say quite early. And I managed, I managed to get here, well, halfway here before I started feeling the proper full heat. But as soon as I started, about 8am, um, it was straight away after a while it's just too hot so yeah now it's midday well about one or two in the, two in the afternoon now and so the temperature's very high again up into the 30s no doubt and then there's constant sun as well so it's going to be hard hard and hot work going through these 
mountains, but heading home, so it's all good. I forgot to mention the noise you can hear behind me, all the dog barking, is as you can see, lots of dogs. That's one thing I've noticed around here is there's an awful lot of like scout groups and whatnot, um, just like all over the place. And obviously, by the looks of it, this lot is on a dog walking trip. So yeah. <laughs> well, it's quite weird actually. After I just took that video, just saw some random guy called Patrice came up to me, and he's done a fair bit of cycling. Like touring in his time, so so she goes, oh, do you want to have a shower, and then do you want to like wash all your clothes and stuff? So she just went back to his, and then it was just a case of washed all my clothes, and the water was just dirty brown, proper filthy dirty brown, and yeah, so I managed to wash all my clothes, dry them all, and so yeah, no, I clean clothes, had a shower as well. So thank you, Patrice. <laughs> But that was yesterday, and so it's now another day. I'm doing quite well, made good progress so far. Still heading up along the border, Belgium and French border. So it's quite funny, every now and then I just cross the sign saying, Welcome to Belgium, and then all of a sudden, Oh, welcome to France. So, so yeah, as I say, just working my way up along there. Now I've just stopped to have some lunch and then back on the bike again. But I'm thinking, Maybe, maybe back in Calais in two two more days. So this day and then another two. Yeah. Oh, this morning it was good riding because there was no sun. It was quite cloudy, quite overcast. It's just running. Um, it's a riding straight through the mountains. As you can see the photos there, and it was just lovely and cool. A bit too cool. So there's some of them you can see. I've put my. Um, my lycra legs and my jacket on. But no, it's going well today, so. The sun's coming out now though, so it's gonna start heating up, but made some good miles before it got too hot, so that's good. Well, it's now me done for the day. As you can hear, it's quite noisy behind me, but that's because I've managed to find a, a campsite, uh, well, I say campsite, somewhere to stay, which uh, is right next to one of these massive main road motorways. But it's the only place I could find, and I'm absolutely knackered. Just check the mileometer today, I managed 110 miles, so I'm happy that was a good push, really big push. Knackering though, absolutely knackering. The morning as sails through all the valleys and stuff, and then it sort of flattened out coming up to lunch. 
and then this last bit has just been quite flat and just slogging the miles but not been too bad ready for big eat though pretty hungry Well, here I am, finally made it. I'm now in the line with all the other vehicles, getting ready to get on the ferry, as you can see behind me. Good day today, nice big push. It was a hundred, just, I think just over a hundred miles in the end to get here. So, yeah, not too bad. It was definitely hard work towards the end, must, must say, definitely hard work. But I'm here now, and it's all good. I'll give you a full debrief in a bit. Well that's it, now I've come to the end of my little cycle tour of Europe. I found this one completely different to last year's one where I did John and Groats Land's End. Even though it was pretty much exactly the same thing, had all my stuff on my bike, cycling solo, going from A to B, and also our journey time was planned to be roughly the same, both of which a thousand miles. But on this one, and the main thing i say was the heat, because as soon as I got out there it was about 30 degrees and then trying to cycle about 80, 90 miles in that heat, it was hard work. So in the end, my original route was to go um, hook of Holland through Belgium into Luxembourg and then off along France, then touch the German Swiss, Swiss border and then come back along through France, through Paris and then up to Dover. But by the time I got to Luxembourg, I wasn't that happy to be honest. It was, it was okay, it was just an awful lot of work, as in I'd stopped enjoying it, because instead of like last year, it was just get on the bike, nice cycling, just keep on going. This, this year was just an effort, because straight away, I'd wake up and already I just feel tired, it's too hot, and I'd have to keep drinking constantly. So, so yeah, so I got to Luxembourg and I thought, now nah, I'll just head back, and coming back along the French and Belgian border. It was about, it was the last two days when we had cloud cover and wasn't that, you know, it was a nice normal temperature, 18 degrees maybe. And I managed about 100 miles on both those days, no problem. Just because there's no, no like overpowering heat, there's no blistering sun. You know, you can just wake up, get on the bike and just keep on riding. It's not that much of an effort, so yeah. It's just a shame because, you know, all, all together though, I, I enjoyed it, but I, you know, I cut it short because I just thought with the heat, it was a bit, it was a bit too much. It was good though, managed just over 600 miles in the end. It's just over a week in the end, so, but I think it was good riding. My, I was quite impressed with the gears on the bike, because one of the shifters broke. I just put um, a standard over the handlebar. A mountain bike style shifter worked absolutely fine. Got a problem with the spokes though, which kept loosening. When I got home, I just tightened all the spokes up completely so that you know, and then re realigned it all. And I didn't get any flat tyres, any punctures, anything like that. So it was just the constant having to stop and check, check the spokes because. The problem is if they had started braking rather than just loosening themselves it would have been a bit annoying to have to keep repairing them. But then the main thing I learned from it is to take a decent map to be honest because all I did was print off the Google Maps I had going on so it was just a case of printing them out and sheets and sheets of them. I thought that would be enough but it really wasn't. It, well it wasn't it wasn't because I managed to get to Luxembourg fine but then when I was decided to cut it short, I had to buy another map because that one didn't have my Google Maps printouts didn't have the route I was going to take to get back. So yeah, so I bought a new one. It was a Belgian Luxembourg roadmap, 
and wow, <laughs> it was amazing. And you could just see all the little roads and then all the little villages. It made it so much easier. And then this is what I got in the end when I got my Luxembourg and Belgium map. I was quite impressed at how nicely kept the churches were in the villages. As well as, I really liked the main two places was Hoi and Huilon, just because it was quite sort of a mountainous area and then they had the river coming through the valley so all the buildings were built up either side of this river and sort of in Hoi they had um, all these jet skis and stuff which you can see in the photos and then Huilon was where the castle was so I thought those two areas were really nice. It's quite interesting while I was out there on the ferry going there and back in I met some other people doing roughly the same thing, touring with their bikes and I think next time I go out I won't have it nearly as planned or structured. I think I'll just sort of, sort of have a map, have no particular route and just see where it takes me as opposed to this which was very much, oh it's go here, go here, go here. It's it's okay because I'm on a bike. I want to do the miles, so like, you know, you want to keep traveling the distance, but then looking back on it, some of the stuff you could quite easily miss. But I think if I just go somewhere or even fly out and then say, okay, I'm gonna go back to here and then just grab a map and see where it takes me, I think that'd be quite, quite fun to do. So I think that, that'll probably be my next adventure maybe. There we go, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoyed following me through my little cycle tour of Europe and all the different places I went.